everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna take a look at these Litty Tree dual brush pens. These are actually manufactured by the same company that brought us the 120 square brute funers, the 180 brute funers, round brute funers, as well as the 520 brute funers that so many of you are loving right now. And you all know how much we love the brute funer brand, but these were brought to us by by the same company and they actually reached out to me and wanted to send me these for review and I've been wanting to try a dual brush pen set and I actually had been looking at them on Amazon trying to decide which ones I had wanted and they happened to reach out to me right about the same time when I was trying to decide which set I wanted to purchase. So I agreed to go ahead and share these with all of you. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing and we're gonna take a look at these brush pens and then we are going to test them out. If you check the description box below, you will find links down there for my Facebook group I would love for you all to join me over there. We have a community of almost 6,000 people. It is a wonderful supportive community, so please do join us. And you will also find links down there for my email list, my Etsy store, as well as my Patreon if you would like to support me there. Let's go ahead and take a look at these dual brush pen markers. Let's go ahead and take a look at this 132 set of Litchi Tree dual brush pens. So they came to me in a box very nice, nicely packaged, and they came in this wrapping. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this wrapping off. So it's just stuck down here at the bottom. So it makes it really easy to open them and pull the case out. So let's go ahead and take off this top piece. And as you can see, they come in this really nice case. I really loved that when I first saw them. I had no idea they were gonna come in this beautiful case. I love when things come already in a case because that means that we don't have to go out and purchase one. So it comes with this cute pocket-sized little coloring book. If we take a look through here, it looks like they have a little bit of everything. So here's like a little tree house. We have an owl on this side, a girl with butterflies in her hair. Here we have a bird. And what else have we got in here? Here we've got some more pattern-like designs with some hot air balloons. And this would be great for those of you that want to take your coloring along with you. And you would just have to, you know, pack the coloring book in here and take the case with you and you would be ready to color. So you have a doctor appointment or something like that and you just want to bring it with you because you know you're gonna be sitting in the waiting room waiting for a little bit. But let's go ahead and put that aside so we could take a look at these pens. So let's take a look at the case first and how they come in here. Once you open the case, you will see that they look like they're pretty much in a pretty good color order. And then they've got flaps that open up just like this. Now, y'all, there's 132 in here. That's a lot of markers. And these seem to look like they would be a lot of fun. Let's just go ahead and take a look at some of the colors that come in this case. So we start here and we've got our beautiful teal blues. And then we've got a couple purples here. This looks like a really pretty dark purple. And then we have a light purple. And let's see. This looks like it might be a really pale blue as we get into the blues and then some greens. And then we come over here to this next flap. And if I pull this up here, you could see we have a couple more very pale greens. Those are really pretty. Then we've got like a beige color here as we get into the browns and more browns, darker browns. And then we have quite a few grays. One, two, this one looks like a blue gray. So one, two, three, four, five, that one looks like a silver, six, seven. It looks like we have seven grays unless we have um, some somewhere else in this pack, but I don't think that we do. And then if we come over here to this side, we have some fuchsia type pinks, and then we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous hot pink, and then another hot pink, those are really pretty. And then some paler pinks, this looks like it's more like a muted pink, and then some baby pinks. And this may be a really pale, pale pink. And then some more pinks as we get into some deeper oranges and a few reds. These are, these look like they might be some very dark reds or brownish reds possibly. And then we've got more when we open this flap up here. 
So we have this very fluorescent or neon yellow here up at the top, and then we have some more yellows, darker yellows. This looks like a really beautiful coral color. We've got these brighter, beautiful oranges. Look at this beautiful neon orange. So we've got a neon orange, a neon yellow, and we saw that neon pink. And I wonder if we have a neon blue. I don't remember. So we've got some more oranges over here, and then we get into these sort of like greenish greenish brownish colors maybe and some beige type colors I guess and then we come over here and we've got this other flap I believe this is the last one and so we've got some more muted yellows it looks like this looks like a very pretty corally type color but it must be different because there's one here that seems similar so they must be a little bit different you all know when you get into having 132 colors a lot of them start to actually be quite the same but again you would never know unless they were swatched so we've got these tan colors here and then we've got more purples you all know whether it's colored pencil it's markers or whatever it is I love getting a lot of purples because purples are really hard to come by now if you look over here if you remember we had some purples over here these are probably our more purpley blues and then these may be more true purples and then the purples that sort of turn into pink so we've got these purples here and we've got quite a few because if I look over here on the other side, this one looks sort of purple here. So that's one and then this one, two, three, this one possibly two. So one, two, three, four, as far as the purple goes. And then if we come over here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then this one's like a purpley pink. And then this one has a lot of purple in it too. So there's quite a few purples. And we're getting into the uh, purpley pinks here and then some more pinks. And then this was the last flap that we already saw. So you can see that we've got quite a few neon colors here. This one looks very neon and these probably look pretty close to neon as well. This one looks really, really pretty. I actually already swatched that one off camera and it is actually gorgeous. So that is a look at the colors. So if we look at these and I take one out, let's go ahead and do this beautiful bright orange because I think it will be pretty visible on camera, but there are no color names on here. A great suggestion for you if you had wanted to purchase these and swatch them out would be to get the little um, sticky labels and go ahead and number them all yourself and then take that number and apply it to your swatch your swatch chart and then go ahead and write that number in there and then swatch your color. But that would be a really great way for you to be able to swatch them out, keep track of them, and also be able to match them up. And when you're applying them to your coloring pages or however you choose to use these, you will know exactly what color each one of them are. And like I said, they seem to be in a pretty good color order. And usually with with my markers or any type of markers I have, I'm not usually that concerned with where they are or if they're in perfect color family order. I'm just usually more concerned when I swatch those out if they are in color family order. So say all my purples together, all my blues together, my greens together, and so on. And that's usually how I would swatch those out. And I'm probably going to use my own idea where I get some stickers and I put the stickers on here and give each one of them a number and I will swatch them all out according to their numbers. So that way I can use them on my coloring books or in my planners or to practice my brush lettering or whatever I would like to do with these. These are going to be wonderful for those of you that want to learn how to do brush lettering. These are going to be fantastic. Now if you look at these, they do have, let's go ahead and take a look at this brush tip. So they've got the brush tip on this end. Look how beautiful that color is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wait to swatch some of these out. There are some really pretty colors in here and with a 132 you're going to have a lot of choices. The brush tip is two millimeters. On the other side we have a fine tip that is 0.4 millimeters and I don't know about you all but I love my fine tip pens. I use my fine tip pens all of the time and 0.4 millimeters is going to actually be perfect for when you're trying to write 
and you are writing in very small spaces. That's really what I use mine for. These pens do contain a water soluble dye ink. So they are actually an ink, but once you apply water to them, they will act like a watercolor. So let's go ahead and talk about pricing. This set of pens is only $39.99. You can get them in either white barrels or black barrels. So they're available in both. So I'll have the link in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing these pens for yourself. But once you click on that link and it takes you to Amazon, you will be able to click on your choice whether or not you want to purchase them in black or with a black barrel or with a white barrel. And I believe that if you purchase the black barrel, then the writing on the actual pen will be in white. They're also available in a 72 set, and the 72 set only does come with the black barrels. And when you purchase them, you're going to actually get refills. So when you go to Amazon and you actually flip through the pictures and such, it will show you how the tips of these are actually replaceable, and they just, they do actually pull out and then it comes with these little replacements here. It looks like you get two of the brush tips here and then you also get that, oh, actually you get three of the brush tips and then you get, let me see, it looks like you get two of the fine tips. So if something were to happen with your pens, with your pens say your brush tip were to get frayed or what have you, or something happened to your fine tip, you can replace these. And these caps are really nice. They're on here really, really good, as you can see. And make sure if you do purchase these, when you are done using them, you put the cap back on and then keep them in a cool, dry place. And that will help to preserve the length of how long they last you. These would be really great to use if you were learning calligraphy, to use in your planners, to use in art journals, and they would be really great to practice your upstroke and your downstroke. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I've been looking at dual brush sets on Amazon for quite a long time that are more budget friendly, trying to decide which set I wanted just by going through and reading reviews and such. And they are a lot like these uh, Tombow dual brush pens. And I'm going to do a little bit of a comparison for you and show you the difference between the two. But if you look at the back of the package here on the Tombow pens, there are, unless they've come out with some since I purchased these, it's been a little while, but it says that there are 96 colors in total and you could visit their website to see all of the colors. Now, I only have this one set and this is the Bright Set. And I absolutely love these, and I do use them for coloring. I use them to practice my brush lettering. I use them in my journals and for so many other things. I love these, but they can be quite expensive. And if you were to purchase all 96 of these, you're going to be spending quite a bit of money. Now, I did a little bit more research on these on Amazon, and I went to go look through. Now, you're getting 132 of these dual brush pens in this set, and that's a lot. Now, when I looked online at the other dual brush pen sets, I found a couple other sets that were comparable. There's actually quite a few, but as far as how many you get, I was able to find a shuttle art set that had, I believe, 100, and then Ohuhu has a set with 120, but I was not able to find anything at all where you're going to get 132 colors so there's a lot of colors in here and they do they are water-based so they do blend together they blend together beautifully I've been playing with them quite a bit in between the filming of this video because I wanted to get a little bit more familiar with them before going in and doing this review so I've been playing with them for quite a bit I tried them out on a coloring page and I'm actually going to show you since these are marketed for coloring books if you look on Amazon, most all of these sets, whether it be Ohuhu or Shuttle Art or this set that is by the makers of the Brute Fooner, they make the Brute Fooner 520 um, set, they make the Brute Fooner Square pencils that we absolutely love, as well as the Brute Fooner 180 round set. But this is the same company that is bringing us these markers, so I figured since we all love the Brute Fooner quality so much as far as a budget brand goes, 
I really was interested in trying these out and really testing them. So I really wanted to be able to see and do a little bit of a comparison between these and the Tombows. I will be showing you the difference between the brush tip on these and the brush tip on the Budget Friendly Bank brand. And we will take a look also at how the fine tip works on actual marker paper. But let me go ahead and pull one of these Tombows. So here I have the Tombow and I'm just going to grab another color that possibly looks similar to this one. And this case is really, really nice. These are in here so, so tightly. They keep these nice and snug. They're very easy to slide back in. I'll show you that, but look how easy that is just to slide back in. And so, yeah, it's really, really good quality. I just love how these just, um, you know, they, they have flaps. I love how there is just one zipper that goes all the way around. And as I've been playing with them, I could just flip the flaps back and forth, <laughs> flip the flaps. <laughs> but anyways, I could just move them back and forth and find any of the colors that I want. But let's take a look at these and do a little bit of a comparison. So let's turn these around just so that they are, we've got fine tip to fine tip and then brush um, tip to brush tip. But if I put these right next to each other, you could see that the first difference is that the Tombow is much longer. They are both water-based. They're both a water-based uh, dye ink. And well, let's go ahead and look now. Like I said earlier, these are a 0.4 tip. I'm not really sure the size of the Tombow, but I think the Tombow's tip is a little bit larger. Let's go ahead and pull these off. Okay, so they are quite a bit different. You could see that these brush markers do have a much smaller actual fine tip, like a fine tip pen. So if you look at the Tombow, they do call it a fine tip, but it's actually going to be much thicker than what you're gonna get on these pens. And I don't know really which one is better, which one is not. I mean, I guess it's all about preference, but again, like I said, if you go out and buy the full set of Tombows, you're gonna spend quite a bit of money. I think one set of the Tombows is um, gosh, how many did I get in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I got nine and then a blender. So 10 all together, but nine colors. And I paid $20 for those. I might have been able to use a coupon at Michael's, but I paid $20 for those. And then we're looking at um, $39.99 for these. And I will have a coupon code for you that they have provided me with so that you all could get 15% off. So these are going to be $39.99 and then you're going to get 15% off, which is really great, especially because you are getting 132 colors and there are so many beautiful colors in here. I've been swatching a few of them off to the side and I have just been oh my gosh look at that color especially this one here this color over here this bright bright beautiful color like the fluorescents in here are absolutely gorgeous this color right here is very very pretty and I was trying to swatch a few to see how closely they match to the caps and I'm also going to show you that in a in a little bit okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the brush tips of each one of these and we're gonna see how those compare. So if you look at the brush tips, you can see that those are very similar to one another. And let me see, are they the same length? It looks like the Tombow may be just a tad bit longer. Let me see. Yeah, just a very small tad. And I'm gonna use these and try to do some strokes with them on some marker paper. And we're gonna see which one is softer, which one is harder. And I don't know how many of you do lettering, but I believe if you're doing lettering or using them for that, that will make a difference. But I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference in a coloring book. And I'm going to try these also on a coloring book page that I printed out onto marker paper and we are gonna see how these perform on a coloring page. Okay, so I have a piece of marker paper here. This is the marker paper I always use when I wanna use markers or if I want to print out a coloring page and use markers with a um, base and then put my colored pencils over it. And you could do that with these too. The colored pencils, I tested that and the colored pencils go over um, go over them very, very nicely. And it was the budget ones that I tested, these lychee tree um, markers. I'm still not really sure how to say that. I think it's lychee tree. But um, 
yeah, I tested it on a coloring page last night and then I used my Prismacolor over and I'm gonna show you that a little bit later in the video, but let's go ahead and take a look um, at the comparison of these. So we've already seen the side-by-side -side comparison. And so now I'm gonna show you how the brush tip works. So let me go ahead and move these out of the way. Okay, so as far as I know about brush lettering is you do your downstroke thick and then when you come up, you do your thin strokes. So if I do that and just do a downstroke with the Tombow, it looks really nice. And then here is my upstroke. Yeah, so there's just a couple upstrokes and downstrokes. And the harder you push going up, you can create a little bit of a thicker line. And yeah, I'm not I'm not a pro at creating any letters or anything like that, so I'm not gonna go get that much into it, but I just want to show you the difference or explain the difference in how this um, tip feels. So that was the um, Tombow. And of course, we all know if you have the Tombows and you're familiar with them, you know that they're absolutely wonderful. So let's see if this brush tip goes down the same way, if it's harder, if it's softer, if it feels the same. Now, with the Tombow, I mean, they're very, very juicy and it just comes right out and it just, it's so easy to make these strokes. So if I try the Lychee Tree brand, let's go ahead and try our downstroke and it feels just the same. And then our upstroke and then another downstroke Here's an upstroke, and then if we do a little bit harder pressure, we can get a little bit of a thicker upstroke. So, yeah, these feel, to me, when I'm using them, they feel exactly the same. They're both just as juicy. For me, these are a close enough dupe to the Tombows to just be happy with this set of 132 without feeling the need to go out and purchase all of the Tombow sets. And I've never purchased another Tombow set because they are so expensive and y'all know me. I love my budget pencils. I mean, I love my Prismacolors. I love my um, luminance pencils. I love all of the expensive pencils, but I am just fine with my budget sets. I really, really love my budget sets. And there are some budget sets that I'm not going to say that they're as good as the, um, you know, very expensive artist grade sets because they're not, but you can color something absolutely beautiful just using any of those budget sets. And it's the same with these. I can get out a coloring page and I'm pretty sure, which I'm going to test it. I'm going to show you, but I'm pretty sure I could do the same with my Tombows that I could probably do with these because I played with them a lot off camera and they actually performed beautifully and very closely to these Tombow markers. So let me go ahead and show you the other side. And so, because we know that the other side, the fine point, or what Tombow is calling the fine point, as opposed to these le this Lychee Tree brand, what they're calling a fine point, they are very, very different. So with this one, that is what you're gonna get. So there we go. So that is the Tombow. And then with the budget set, or the Lychee Tree set, this is what we're gonna get. So it's gonna be much thinner and it's actually very nice. Like it's very nice, it goes down very smooth and I really, really like them. And these would be great for doodling, for journaling, for, you know, like working in your art journals, for coloring. This would be fantastic for getting in those little small intricate spaces if you're using them on a coloring page. And because this is water-based, you can blend this tip in right with the other tip of another color when you lay them down on your coloring page and then just come back with, or use your darker color to do that, then come back with your lighter color and sort of blend that out. And it would be absolutely absolutely beautiful. I even try to blend the Tombow with the lychee tree uh, pens and it worked out beautifully too. <laughs> so I've really been playing with these before I did this review because I wanted to be really familiar with these and they have actually been really, really wonderful. So you all know that I don't like to bring anything to, I've, I've said this so many times, I don't like to bring anything to my channel or review something on my channel that I don't really care for because I'm not going to go out and tell y'all to buy something just to benefit myself or benefit a company. 
if I don't really care for it. I always want to give you my very honest review, and so I wanted to make sure, because I am not necessarily a marker person, that I really spent a whole lot more time um, playing around with these and using them on a coloring page and blending them together and really testing them before I did this video. So now I'm going to show you the difference in the blends. So I am going to grab a couple of, I've got a couple greens here of the lychee tree brand. Okay, so I grabbed a couple of the greens from the Tombow set. So I'm just going to show you how these uh, blend together. And so let's go ahead and I'm just going to lay some of this color down and then I'm going to come back with the lighter green and I'm going to lay some of that color down. And you could see that they blend together really, really nicely. So there's those. Now let's see the difference in this more budget friendly set. So I'm going to lay my darker color down. I think there's going to be way big of a difference or much more of a difference here in the colors. Okay, so with the Tombows, they blended together much nicely, but my colors were much closer together. So I'm gonna grab another color over here and see if I could find something that will blend together a little bit better. This is a little bit more comparable to the um, Tombows. So let's go ahead and swatch this color out. Oh yeah, that's almost an exact um, match to that one. And then come back with this one. Oh my goodness, okay. So yeah, if we um, come back, so yeah, the difference in the colors was just far greater in this one. If I wanted to blend this one into this color, I probably would have much more success, but the transition between these or the values in the colors was just way far apart. This one's much darker than this one, so they did not blend as well. But if we look over here, these colors are almost the same. This one's much brighter, but these two colors, they are almost exact, an exact color comparison. So you can see that this blended together much better, just like the Tombows did. So this is a better comparison, and they worked just as well as the Tombows. So yeah, and that just goes to show you when you are trying to even swatch out your markers, test your colors out off to the side. I've got markers laying all over the place because I've been playing with these for so long. But, um, but yeah, just make sure when you, you know, before you try to put your colors together on your coloring page, you do the same thing that I always tell you to do with your pencils and you test them out before you go and bring them to your coloring page because had I done this on my coloring page, I would not have had as much success if I had done this. And I could probably go a little bit darker up here and there are so many colors in this 132 set that I'm sure that I could find something that is a tad bit darker that would blend very nicely into this. But they blend together beautifully as long as the colors are fairly close. And then if I wanted to do a three color blend, I could always come up here and find a color that's even a little bit darker and blend it into this one. I could probably even try this or go a shade or a tad bit lighter than this. And I would probably have great success with that. So we are gonna go ahead and bring these to a coloring book now. And I have a coloring page that I printed out on this marker paper and we're gonna test them out on a coloring page because they are marketed um, towards colorists. And so we're gonna test them out on a coloring page and see how they work for us. Okay, so I grabbed this coloring page and this is actually from a coloring book cafe. I believe it is Country Kitchens and I absolutely love this book. But I was able to find this page and I've got two mugs here that are very similar. And I think that not even really being a marker pro, I may be able to color these and show you their blendability on this actual paper and we'll do a Tombow and then we'll do the lychee tree uh, ones. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick that you can use with markers with your pencils. Okay, so I grabbed the lychee tree um, dual tip markers first. And so when I'm working with markers, I always like to just take the caps off and I leave the caps off to the side so that I could just alternate colors and be a little quicker about doing it. So I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do this one since they are, they are identical. And so I'm just gonna come in here and lay down some of this color. And then I'm going to, of course, come back with my darker color. And I did try to match these colors up the best that I possibly could so that we can get 
a really good comparison as to how they each perform on the same paper and on the identical you know same type of object and then I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to pull that color through a little bit and the colors are blending nicely these remind me a lot of my Crayola super tips which I love so so much but they've got the brush tip so it just makes them so much more fun. But these are really fun to work with. I'm just using these, um, you know, these brush strokes, flicking, flicking motion, kind of like I do when I'm using my colored pencils. So they're blending together really nicely. Look at that. So let's come down here and do the bottom part. And see, you could use these markers in your coloring books and they are just so much fun. I've just really been wanting a set like this for the longest time. And I was so excited when they reached out to me and wanted me to review these. And I was I was just really excited to try them. But you could see that these are blending together really nicely. And for $39.99 and you get all these colors and then I have the coupon code for y'all. That is a fantastic deal. Let's come in here and do the bottom part. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to show you after what you could do with the fine tip on the other side of the marker. So I'm not being really particular about making sure I fill in all that white on the edges because since it's a brush tip, it will spread just a little bit. And so I really don't want it to spread outside the lines. So let me go ahead and put these tops back on and then I'm gonna show you what you can come back in here and do with these. So then I'm gonna take off the other, well, let me use the darker one. So I'm going to take off this part of the darker one and then I'm going to use this. I'm going to turn this just a little bit and I am going to use this just to create a little bit more shadow with these markers and I'm going to go and get all of that white with the finer tip and then over here where I want to just create a little bit more dimension I'm going to put the lines back in where they were on the mug originally and then come down here and fill in more of this white here and they're still because both sides are water-based they're just filling in so nicely and just blending together beautifully and it's just it's filling in all of that white space and the colors are just coming together really nicely so then i'm going to come back here and i'm going to use this one again and i'm just going to go over that just one more time just to make sure they're nice and blended and i mean it's sort of the same idea as when you're using your colored pencils i think I'm, i feel like i'm using these a lot like if i were using my colored pencils but i really like how that looks and i'm gonna show you a little trick here now so i've got my white prisma color and i'm just going to come here down the centers with my white prisma color and i probably could have blended that I don't know if I want those spaces there now. So let me just come back and just go over that. See how you could just change your mind later. And see, I'm just so used to using colored pencils that I end up bringing my colored pencil techniques right to <laughs> uh, markers. But look how cool that looks. And they just blended together so beautifully. Now those were the budget ones. So now we're going to try the same thing and I tried to match up these colors. You could see that I tried to match up the purple with the purple and the pinky purple with the pinky purple and because I've got the smaller set of Tombos, I don't have a whole lot of them. So I wanted to make sure that I picked colors that were going to be close enough together so that they blended and came together beautifully. So I'm going to do the same thing with the with this one and then y'all will be able to see the difference in the Tombos and the lychee tree markers. So let me go ahead and, like I did earlier, we're going to take both the caps off. And I'm going to come in here and I am going to do the same thing with these. So I'm just laying this down just like I did with the other set of markers. And then I'm going to come back with my darker and do the same thing as I did earlier. To me, these are blending together pretty much the same. I really don't see that much of a difference. 
I'm going to come back and go over the darker color and pull this in towards the center and I'm going to do that on both sides and this time I'm just going to go straight over the center there but look how nice these blend together I'm really not seeing that much of a difference from when I used the more budget-friendly set I just love how these feel going down on the paper I love using brush markers it's just, I don't know, something about it is just so soothing the way that they go down on the paper. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing as you saw me do earlier, just putting my shadows where I want them. And then I'm gonna come back and pull that color and go over it again with my lighter color. Pull it closer into the center. My camera cut off on me as I was finishing this one up, but y'all, could see exactly what I was doing with the rest of it. So I pretty much just did the same thing down at the bottom. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to use the other side of um, the darker one and I'm just going to fill in the outer sides like I did when I used the more budget friendly set. And so I'm just gonna come in here and fill in more of the white of this right here on the edges and then like I did over here where I just put those lines back in just a little bit so honestly if I had to compare what is the fine tip on these Tombos as opposed to the fine tip on the um, lychee tree markers I actually like the fine tip on the others better because I find that I'm able to get in there even better and fill the white because on these Tombos, what they're calling a fine tip is just much thicker. And so if I were coloring with them in a coloring book, then I would probably prefer the uh, lychee tree set but that's what I have so far. Y'all can see that I am actually adding quite a bit of marker when I'm doing this and that's okay. That is the purpose when you're using markers to go ahead and add quite a bit of color. That's how you're gonna get a really good blend because that ink just really starts to move around when you do that. And I probably could have added more layers over here. And you can see that over here, the colors are much lighter, but I mean, it may just be the colors. But um, over here, they're much darker and more vibrant. So I see that as a difference. But I mean, I really don't mind. It could be because I laid more down here on this side. And I could probably come back and lay more colors or even go with a darker color. But I don't think these colors were an exact match. They were just similar. So if I come back here and I wanted to add my... Prismacolor white down the center just to create a little bit more of a reflection. I could do that over the Tombow as well. But look how cool that is. Okay, so over here we have the Lychee Tree dual tip uh, water based markers. And then over here we have our Tombows. And so you can see the difference actually side by side. I don't feel like one blended together any better than the other. I feel like I could have came back here and possibly added a little bit more color and I'm probably going to play with it a little bit more after I finish the video because I've really enjoyed playing with these. They have been so much fun and I love the fact that there's 132 colors. Like I said, you're not going to find if you go on Amazon and you do a search, you're not going to find another set with 132 colors. I searched and searched and I couldn't find anything more than 120. And these markers can be used for so many different things. You can use the fine tip for sketching and doodling and journaling and the intricate spaces in your coloring books. And then you can use the brush tip for brush lettering if you want to learn how to brush letter. And there's tons of videos online on YouTube. I watch them all the time because I've been practicing my brush lettering. And I do that every once in a while. I sort of get into it and then I fall back out of it. But I go back and forth really trying to learn, learn how to do a beautiful brush style lettering. But you can use the brush tip for brush lettering, um, calligraphy, 
art projects and to color the larger spaces in your coloring books as you saw that I did here and then I took the finer tip and I went back and I just filled in the white of the paper that was left and just added a little bit more color and did a little bit more blending. They also blend together beautifully. You saw on the blend test that they really did blend together well. Of course when the values of my colors were pretty far apart they didn't blend together as nicely but once I found the um, correct colors to blend together. They blended together just as well as the Tombow set. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am going to have a 15% off coupon code and I will pop that up on the screen here if I've not already popped it up there uh, earlier in the video. And I will also have it in the description box down below with a link where you can find these markers and I just thought it was really cool when they reached out to me because like I said it's the same company that brought us the 520 uh, Brute Funer pencils as well as the 120 square set that we all love so much and the 180 Brute Funers of which I have all already reviewed so I was really excited to get me my hands on these and be able to review these as well and I know my channel is usually focused much more so on colored pencils but I know that we all love other mediums as well so I thought this would be a really um, cool thing to be able to re review for you especially since they brought us all of those pencil sets that we all love so much so I hope you all have a wonderful day I hope that you found this video useful if you decide to purchase them you need to definitely let me know share in my Facebook group your experience with them and let me know if you love them as much as I do and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.